What is up everybody and welcome back to another Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord video. The Realm of Thrones mod. Um, we've just recently ended the war with uh, Highgarden and the Tyrells. The war ended with us taking the city of Tumbleton and Golden Grove. Now, one of my longest subscribers, Sid, has mentioned that we should go north and build up a retinue of Stark uh, house guards as they are absolutely overpowered. And you know what? I'm down for anything like that. We will also, uh, under another comment suggestion, we'll be building up a party. I think it was may have been Sid as well. I'm not sure. Correct me if it was you. If you if it was you, I've had a couple of drinks tonight. If I get confused, that's on me. But uh, we'll also go to Dragonstone at one point and get some, uh, start training up some Queen's Guard cavalry. But we'll wait until we are uh, ranked up a little bit more, maybe the next tier, before we do that. Go like tier four. But yeah, all right. Let's uh, let's start heading all the way back north. We'll leave uh, Mr. Lannister down here defending the castle. Uh, just trading post. What a name for a town. Trading post. Uh, under another comment suggestion, we're going to pick up some horses on the way. Don't really care if they slow us down. We're not at war and we have a decent enough party to defend them. And we're going to sell an absolute ton of horses to the wildlings. Because, well, they lack cavalry. So theoretically, they should be the ideal place to sell horses to. Alright, we'll right over to Mummersford. Uh, we'll pick up some Midlands Palfreys for 183 each. Imperial Chargers for 695 each. We have 148k. It's not like we're suffering from it. Uh, our towns are actually generating us money at this point, which is quite nice considering we're paying about 1600 gold for our party and the uh, garrison back there. The castle at River Run. Any more horse towns along here? Not yet. Uh, our relation increased with House Greyjoy. Not entirely certain as to why, but it did. So, go us. For all of our diplomatic skills. Mr. Sausage is in fact the most skilled diplomat in the Seven Kingdoms. He's engaged in diplomacy on multiple occasions, often ending with swinging his sword at somebody's face. As the great Anakin Skywalker would say, aggressive negotiations. Ooh, hello there. A hideout. You know what, we'll do a hideout on the way up. Why not? Wait till nightfall to attack. No reason not to, right? Keep our party's morale high. We have ridiculous levels of food. There is no chance we're going to run out of food anytime soon. Let's say we have, we have 342 grain. It does. Jesus. We don't need the Northern Mounted Warlords for this fight. Northern Knights uh, Watch Protectors of the Realm. The Stalwarts are probably the better idea. And we have the Northern Colonel. And some Dreadfort Blake, uh, Blackguard. Elite infantry units. Alright, men. Charge. Let's do this. Ah, Mr. Sausage has become quite agile over this campaign. Look at him run. Look at the speed he runs with all this gear on. Uh, I have a Valyrian steel sword, sir. Oh, and it one shot that fool. Jesus, this sword's amazing. Oh my god, who even needs a party? Mr. Sausage has become the greatest swordsman in the entirety of Westeros. Look at this. One swing and any fool dies. Now, the guy that's over there is kind of having a cigarette while his friends all die. He's kind of slacking off. There's three of them here. Ow, you actually hit me. Oh, you didn't do much damage, though. 
Excellent. Move inside. <laughs> uh, the cape clipping through the black guard. I love it. Look at the mega shields that the Boltons wear. On the Bolton flayers. It's actually awesome. That might have been a texture issue. Not a problem. Gotta remember, guys, this mod is still in early access. If you're loving the series so far, which I know I am, I'm enjoying sharing this content with all of you, please feel free to drop a like, a comment, let us know what your thoughts and suggestions are for the series. I'm quite attentive to them, I check every single comment and I do try to reply to every single one. Uh, I value any feedback that's given, as I'm only a small YouTuber and I absolutely love getting any feedback, guys. So please, feel free to drop a comment. Well, I, that guy's, uh, that guy's about to get surprised. Oh, Jesus. Oh, sir, are you okay? Oh, he actually took down one of our stalwarts. Props to him. He only wounded him. He didn't actually kill the guy, but, uh, he took him down. Alright, we'll head up here and finish off the last of them. Look at this man. No clue what's coming for him. Problem solved. Alrighty. Let's take out this bandit leader now. Little to no issue. Very well. I'll, I'll duel you, sir. Gotcha. At last? Who said that? Was it you, Mr. Face Covered in Blood? Not like you have too much of a leg to stand on. How many hits are you take in this in this battle, huh? Huh? Look at this guy. He's just happy to be here. Oh my god. Oh, okay, okay. Now he's sad. Everyone else is cheering and this guy's just over here like, Oh my god, look at this happy boy. So cheerful. Every time I approach, they get more angry. I feel like my men don't like me very much. Alrighty. Let's grab these prisoners and keep on heading north. Uh, extra horses, some jewelry, supplies that we can sell. Very nice. Uh, we've almost filled up our inventory, which is good because when we arrive at either Winterfell or um, the Dreadfort, we will be absolutely cheering as far as money goes. We have an income now from Golden Grove, which is nice. Ah, we've hit 76 steward. Alrighty. Reduce food consumption while in an army by 10%. Garrison wages are reduced by 20% for castles. Workshops owned by you have 20% increased production. Siege engines are built 20% faster. We'll go with the stiff upper lip, I think. Garrison wage reduced in castles should make uh, our... The amount we're paying for our garrisons right now much more affordable. All right, let's head in here and pick up some Stark soldiers, shall we? Uh, Stark levies? Do they go into? Uh, yep, Stark levies go into Stark footmen, to Stark soldiers, to Stark house guards. All right, so I think what we'll do is pick that up. Pick up the northern recruits because they can go to anything. We'll jump into this tournament while we're here. Why not? Actually, before we do that, we'll recruit. Uh, Mormont, northern soldier. Not as many Stark levies in here as I thought there would be, all things considered. You know, it being a Stark town and all. The capital of the Starks. Alright. Archer! Fire! Draw swords. Their archers ran forward very quickly. Oi, ay, ay! That guy just stabbed the air. Sir, are you okay? Can you even see out of that helmet? Alright, alright. Moving on. Yeah, that's why you're supposed to block, bro. 
Northern Warlord defeated. Oh! That's a White Harbor Elite. Excellent. Victory is ours. Alright, what do we got? I'll cover you, friend. Yep, that's it. Focus on me, bro. Oi, oi, oi. You're meant to stand behind me, fool. Took an arrow in the back somehow. Why were you showing your back to an archer, you fool? Alrighty. Nah, man. You ain't got a shot. Sorry. <laughs> uh, got him. Stark Bowman. <laughs> Alright. Acorn Water. An excellent name for a village. Northern Men at Arms. We get some more Stark Levies. Northern Recruits. We'll just keep picking these guys up as we head north. So that we can sell off uh, some of our... Uh, words are hard. Yeah, so we can sell off some of these horses we've been collecting. Uh, where was it? Footman on horses is 0 0.8. Genuinely thought we had more. Northern Noble Warriors. I want these. Those are good because they turn into the Stark Heavy Cavalry, but I don't actually like them too much, to be honest. The Stark Heavy Cav so much has, uh, so far, has proven to be uh, quite ineffective in comparison to other heavy cavalry. So we're going to stick with footmen for now and build an, a cavalry corps once our uh, party size grows. The Hill Tribes. Alright, go to Silver Rock. Some looters over there. Northern Heroes. Man, there's some good troops you can recruit here, but uh, I don't want them. They're way too expensive. How looks the wall currently? Alright, the Free Folk actually hold Eastwatch now. Which I believe it used to be held by the Umbers when we left, so... They've done some expanding. Rance may... Uh, Rance Mater? Mance Raider has expanded his domain quite well. Um, let's go in and collect some more men. Let's have a look. We've got Night's Watch recruits here. Which I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty keen to get some more Night's Watch archers. 220 bow. Yeah, we'll pick up some more archers while we're here. What's our force currently look like? 45 infantry, 61 range. Okay. Maybe we should uh, chill on the archers a little bit. Alright, Castle Black has a tawny. We'll come over here and uh, partake in the tournament. Five lords with renowned fighting skills. Swear to God. Uh, Mira Reed. Hellman Tallheart. Roderick Flint. And Cotter Pike. I think Cotter Pike's the only name, aside from Mira, that I really recognize. And Mira's not really recognized for her uh, tactical or military uh, ability. Hey, buddy. Gotcha. 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 <laughs> uh, excellent. Is this little dude over here shooting a crossbow? What? How did you hit that? How did I not hit that? Questions for later. Come on, horse. Get off the rock. Roderick Flint. Come on, Flint. 
Give it a shot, bro. You missed, bro. Haha. <laughs> Gotcha. All right, come here, you. You've been outmatched, sir. I have been fighting war while you sat up here in the north, hosting tournaments. Here! Yeah. Yeah. My battle cry is far more intimidating than yours. Yeah! How to really scare your opponent. Oh! Oh! Heather of Marine! I'm so sorry! Somehow she still makes it in. Aside from possibly having one of the worst performances so far. Gotcha. Probably shouldn't have assumed that I was going to aim for your archer there. <laughs> you should have drawn your sword, stupid. Like this. Alright, Heather of Marine. Here's your rematch. Same weapon. Can you manage to take more than one hit? She did. She took two. Heather, the curse is broken, Heather. Alrighty. We're in Castle Black. Let's see if there's anyone to recruit. It's literally Her Heather of Marine. She's got 111 polearm skill. Like, it's not amazing, but it's not bad either. Um, let's have a look. Worn King's Guard Gloves. We have a lot of stuff to sell. Bam, 23 grand there. 26. And we've bankrupted Castle Black. Excellent. Now to head north. Even further north. Now we ride. Down and now 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 Fist of the First Men. We're going to ride all the way to the Frostfangs. The Mountain Fortress. Which, strangely, has uh, the Men of the Night's Watch living here. Alright, let's go to trade. Bring up horses. Should get... Whoa, look at that. 699 for a saddle horse. We're paying, what, a hundred and something for Midland's Palfreys. There's 600 here. So what we're going to do is... Sell off a bunch of those. Sell off that and that. Another 11 grand. Alright, look at that. Very nice. We'll upgrade the Torturer, upgrade the Archers, get some more Bow Knights, Stark Footmen. We have 13 of these guys that can, can upgrade, we'll get them into being Stark Levies. The passive XP they're currently gaining is doing them wonders. Alrighty, continuing on. What should we do next? Let's... Is there any whites up here for us to kill? Nope. Alright, well, we're going to continue building up our Stark Vanguard then. The Stark Soldiers are going to become our Elite General's Bodyguard unit. They'll be separate from the main infantry. And we'll set that up right now. So if we go... Troops... Down to our Stark Soldiers, Stark Levies. So there is a way to 
change the formation that they come under. It might just be um, something when we're in battle. I genuinely can't remember how to do it. Or if you can anymore. Alright. Well, in battle we will attempt to make a vanguard unit of them. Jojen Reed. We'll head back over here. See what other men we can recruit. And back down to White Ranch. This map is absolutely amazing. I just, I love the attention to detail that's gone into it. Every time I play it, I just feel like I'm in the Seven Kingdoms. It's an awesome experience. Looks like the Starks are going to war. Which means hopefully they're not spam recruiting over here, because their troops went that way. Excellent. Give us all of them Stark infantry. Finally, our infantry numbers have surpassed our archers again. This army has a lot of pretty good archers in it. Alrighty, we'll head to Winterfell itself now. Recruit some more Stark, or well, Northern recruits that we can turn into Stark levies. And bam, and bam. Alright. Actually, we'll take one of them out. We'll travel to win into Winterfell, check the tavern, see if there's a new hero to recruit. There is not. Uh, maybe we'll go to the Dreadfort, see if there's anyone here that we can pick up as a as a follower. I want someone to be leading our infantry, and of course we've put uh, our Lannister recruit, uh, positioned him to defend... The Southlands, so in the meantime, we need to establish a new commander of our infantry. Oh, and there's another tournament that Dread fought. You know what? Let's do it. A scalpel will be given to the to the winner. Alright. I don't think it's any better than what we're currently using, but, uh, oh, nice. Yeah, it's not better than what we're using, but it is good enough at least that we can give it to whoever we, we recruit as a follower, and they should garner decent success. Oh, Karstark, brute, headshot, headshot. Alright, we'll skip this. All in, baby. We're all in. No one's defeating us now. We have risen to be far too powerful to lose to the likes of these guys. Got him. Oh, got him again. Got him again. We got that one. Oh, getting some much better shots off now. Come on, you bloody cavalrymen! He's zigging and zagging. Yep, good job. You ran into a barrel, sir. Keep firing. May as well keep using the crossbow, get a bit of experience in it. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Cornered by infantry. There's no no worse way to go as a uh, cavalryman. All right, we're facing a northern man-at-arms. Bring it, bucko! Come on, buddy. You face Mr. Sausage now. Oh, give you that. Good swing. 
What? That just phased through the man's head. Gotcha. Gave a better challenge than half the lords that we fought. Look at him T-posing down there. <laughs> Alright, drop another bit of money in. We make 1,500 gold off each tournament currently. Which, considering the amount of tournaments we fight in, they normally have, you know, degrading sort of values. But, uh, not today! Because we have perks! I assume it won't be long before the Boltons start another war. They really can't help themselves. Oh, no one here either. Where have all the good men gone? And where not Ah. A castle? I think so. Oh, war. Lysa Aaron of the Vale. Well, isn't that a hell of a kowinky dink? Because the veil is right here. Veil, faction, the no Oh no, House Lock has taken that. Griff Whitehill has created an army. It would be. Yeah, it's super far in the south because that's where most of the lords currently are. Uh, any northern bannerman we can pull to us would probably be helpful. For at least the pillaging section of the war. 16 hours out. He's going to cost me 18 influence. May as well bring him. Uh, Lothor Frey. Uh, and we'll bring in uh, Roswell as well. How about you? Yeah, okay. We'll bring in these lords. We shall do battle with the Vale. The lords of the Vale shall ride to war, and the Boltons shall greet them. We will await our men to gather. And then move in and absolutely crush our opponent. We will be a mainly harassment force or defensive force where needed. Whereas the rest of the army will be coming from the south. Gathering near Salt Spear. He has 95 troops in his army. I feel like that's not enough. Alright, he's slowly gathering up some more. Daytime, we should be starting to see the first uh, groups of reinforcements gather. We'll ride this way to greet them. I assume they're coming from the Dread Fort. Caravan of Thomas the Tan <laughs> Tanner. Thomas the Tanner tank engine, I guess. I don't know. Where are these guys? They really shouldn't be taking that long to get here. He said that was 17 hours out. It's been like two days. Come on. Join me before I lose army cohesion without you guys even joining. Get in here. Come on. Come on. Join the group. Guys, where are you at, though? Distance army leader. Five days? What? Four days, 23? Alright, you guys, uh, you guys suck. You, uh, you're really bad at this. Head across to Sisterton. We will start the harassing of the enemy forces on our own, then. Got any party improvements we can make. Yep, the northern recruits. Most of them can turn into levies. Stark levies into Stark footmen. Archers level up. Make sure everyone's in as good condition as they can be. And we will go hunting. Ah, couldn't corner that caravan. Unfortunate. 
the loot would have been pretty good. Let's see, what sort of enemy armies could we possibly catch out over here? Oh, Lin Corbray, what do you got? 89 cavalry, 31 infantry. This feels like, like deja vu, like, like I've been here before. Face me, bitch. Come here. Whoop, nope. Running to a stack of 215 is not good for me. Aha. Here we go. Here's our harassment force. This is what we were waiting for. Oh, great. Now the Riverlands are at war with us as well. Looks like the free houses have just entered open war with many a kingdom. Come on, find us an army. Anyone out here, you know, recruiting men? Baelish village, huh? Well, wow, Lassa Aaron really had a thing for Peter Baelish. Where are your armies? Out of curiosity, where are your guys at? I expected some form of resistance and I have met none. What's over here? Oh. Oh. Eustace. Come here. Oh god. They actually have an army. Where's it going? Gathering near Hollows Creek. Travelling to Hollows Creek to besiege. What? That's your own territory, you idiot. Go, go, go. Come on. Turn and fight me. Come back, you cowards! Get your ass back over here! Oh my god! This dude just runs away forever! Come on, man! Fine, we will go to this town and buy up as many of their horses as possible. Because screw it, it might increase our speed a bit. The enemy is mostly cavalry, so they're able to move at a decent pace. I haven't got much done in this bat in this war. Wait, what? Ah, Golden Grove's under siege. All right, men. To Golden Grove. To defend our land. God, I hope we don't get caught out big time here. Whoop. You're disorganized. Ah. Swear, whenever I'm disorganized, it lasts a lifetime. That guy? No, no, no. no. Don't even worry about it. This organization means very little to him. Come on, men. You just need to hold for me. We've we can't lose it, we only just got it. William Mooton of the Riverlands. Coming to the Stony Sept real quick. Uh, you, give me some saddle horses. Midlands Palfrey, Sturgeon Trotters, Imperial Chargers. I just need horses to increase my army's marching speed. Now if I look at this, Footman on Horses. 0 0.35, interesting. Did we lose the castle? We did, Golden Grove fell. No way. 
Hopefully their army's weakened. We are now going to hemorrhage money. We signed a contract with the... Oh, hello there. You know what? Get us onto a hill. We've got 142... Cavalry, 142... Uh, 32 infantry. We have 209 archers. 15 cav. We do not have much cavalry. But we have a lot of archers. We have almost... I, I don't know if we actually win this. But they might catch us soon, so... We'll take up a defensive position on this hill. Let them come to us. Oh no, they caught us. Oh no. Alright, men. Let's see if numbers are all that matters. Or if the pure quality of our men and our bows can win out. Isn't it interesting that they start with the high ground when we were the ones on the hill? Good job, Benelord. Good job. There's a small hill over here that we might be able to leverage a little bit. Archers. Because the longer their cavalry charges forward, the longer it's going to take their infantry to catch up. Infantry form into... Uh, F4. Form a circle. Try and cover yourselves from the... Uh, enemies approach. Let our archers engage in skirmishing. We should be able to absolutely shred them. Alright. Let's do this. They're going to crest this hill and get lit up. Hear the sounds of the horse hooves thundering. Once you're in range, I don't think your horse archers beat our regular archers. Infantry, charge forward. Slaughter them! Force them into melee! If we catch most of their cavalry here in melee, their infantry won't be able to keep up with it. Looks like their horse archers are getting decimated. It's exactly what we wanted. Infantry, form up behind. Maintain formation. Shield wall. Bats dust, bat it out, that, that. Another one bats dust, and another one gone, and another one gone. Another one bats of dust. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? We got way more rushes than you. Right, their infantry starting to push. 
The cavalry's coming in. Infantry. Move your line forward. Make it hard for their cavalry to pass back through our line. Infantry, commit. Go, go, go. Archers, commit. Everyone get in there. We just straight up overwhelm them. That's how we win this. And for a faction with so many mounted archers, it's kind of shocking just how bad Admiral was with a bow. That's it, man. Keep the fight up. Ow, 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 ow. We may be losing this fight, boys. There is a slight chance that we are losing this one. <laughs> oh god, get us out of there. Yeah, I think our men have broken. There's only so many men we can slay. You lot, get in there. Didn't utilize our cavalry, but to be fair, we only have 12 of them. To the enemy's 140 to 200 horsemen. Oh god, there's the infantry swarm. Alrighty. God, I hope someone took advantage of the... Uh, distraction we caused it was Brendan of oh it was the Blackfish's army oh my god the devastation the bodies so many so many good men oh god all right men that's going to do it for this episode. I'll catch you all in the next one. Once again, if you enjoyed the content, please drop a like. Leave a comment. It really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Next episode, we'll escape captivity and rebuild our forces to crush the Blackfish. Bye for now, guys. See you in the next one.